Jackson and Browner, and it's Robinson who wins it. Touchdown, Jacksonville. His 14th win. Oh. Bortles with top, looking deep for Robinson. And the is What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the film room. Now, in week three, the Jaguars went to London to face off against the Baltimore Ravens, and this led into an absolute demolition as the Jaguars won this game 44-7. And in the process of this win, I thought Bortles had probably his best game of his career. He went 20 for 31, which led to a 65% completion percentage, threw for 244 yards, four touchdowns, and most importantly, no interceptions. Now, does this all of a sudden mean that Blake Bortles is the future at the quarterback position for the Jaguars? Not at all. He's got to be more consistent. He's got to be able to build more games like this and just really stack them up. But I wanted to do this week's filmer video on Blake Bortles because he may not ever have a good game like this in a Jaguar uniform ever again. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Now, as all of us Jaguar fans know, Blake Bortles throughout his career, he's been his best on the run. Uh, I guess he's just, it's just his chance to kind of get outside of the realms of the pocket. Um, you know, he's able to th look at, look this, look at how he throws this ball. I mean, he looks like a damn emoji, but I mean, he's able to read this guy's open and throw a crisp, good pass to him. Now, the reason why play act, why uh, rollouts work well for him is one reason because uh, it gives him a lot less reads to have. You're going to see over here. Uh, only half the field is available and he's got three reads so it's uh, the field is a lot more simplified for him um, he doesn't have to scan the field as much he can just read off his progressions very well but the downside to play to not play actually I keep saying that but to roll out plays are the fact that the field is shortening uh, you know as Blake Bortles keeps rolling uh, you don't want to throw across your body. This is all over here is a danger zone. It's going to just lead to bad interceptions and just bad things are going to happen. Um, you want this to be more sideline so you're not throwing across your body, but uh, you're going to see the whole field just gets smaller. And if, say, this receiver, I believe that's Alan Hearn, Keelan, I think it's Keelan Cole, but uh, you're going to see that, yeah, it's Keelan Cole. But if all these are if Keelan Cole's covered and all these other receivers are covered then you're just most likely going to throw it out of bounds you know you don't really have much of a chance to really be able to extend a rollout play but you're going to see right here we perform it too um just as planned I mean I believe this should be the number one read but um you know good read good play by Bortles now you're going to see on this next play a big reason why Blake Bortles was named the week one starter and that's just because of his escapability in the pocket with today's NFL, for whatever reason, offensive line play is just getting worse and worse each year. I don't know if this is just because of colleges running a lot more of a spread offense or if this is because just defensive line talent is just getting a lot stronger, a lot faster and stuff like that. But uh, offensive line talent is kind of deteriorating, so you're going to want a quarterback that has this capability and can make plays with his feet. And this is exactly what Blake Bortles does here. He's going to sit here and basically about to take a sack from Eric Weddle. Um, but you're going to see some him show off his leg strength right here and be able to, you know, hold up, get out of the get out of the tackle and throw to Marquise Lee for a seven yard gain. Now, this was a third down play, so it did lead to a fourth down. But instead of him taking a five yard sack here, which would have led to a 57 yard field goal, he's able to escape it. And he's able to throw to Marquise Lee to get a uh, to turn it into a 45-yard field goal. So um, just a good play by Blake Bortles to be able to um, extend the extend the you know play with his feet, um, escape the sack, take it from Eric Weddle, and just get some positive yards out of this game to make it a little bit easier of a kick for Jason Myers. Now this next play is a first receiving touchdown by Mercedes Lewis, which is right over here. Um, you know, I was saying last week that I was really worried about the Jaguars just at the wide receiver position because I felt like we didn't have a big red zone threat to really go to. Because you're going to see once we get within the 20-yard line, they load the box. I mean, they've got eight players in here, uh, the three guys covering, and they're basically just saying, Blake, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to beat us with your, uh, with your, you know, arms. So you're going to see, um, uh, first of all, just watch Mercedes Lewis's play. Um, he's blocking, uh, allowing this whole uh, this whole fake to go on. Um, he's going to keep holding on his block. This dude right here is going to clear out. And what's that going to do? It's going to literally leave Mercedes Lewis alone with, with Tyus Bowser. 
that's that's not the that's not the matchup that you want right here. Um, you know, you're gonna see right here, Mercedes basically just rips him. Um, he sees immediately that it's gonna be a pass, and literally the dude stood no chance. Uh, good throw by Blake Bortles, way to recognize this. Uh, this, I mean, is also also a great play call by Nathaniel Hackett. I mean, they obviously saw something um, in Baltimore on their game on their game film where they would say, okay, this could be something we could potentially exploit. So, a uh, really good play by Mercedes to sell this to sell this like it was a run play which allowed him to get this matchup and it was just an easy touchdown for the Jags. Now next I'm going to show you a group of plays and it's basically right now it's a first and goal from the five yard line and every single play this drive Blake Bortles essentially has a touchdown throw just didn't get a touchdown catch. Now you're going to see right here uh, Blake Bortles rolls out and hits Marquise Lee literally right in the hands. Mar he hits Marquise Lee right in the hands he drops it. Um, you know this could have definitely been uh, if not a touchdown catch, just a catch that, um, you know, right at the, that would have gone down right at the one yard line to set up, you know, Leonard Fournette run or whatever. But, um, you know, Marquise Lee kind of got to catch those, you know, didn't necessarily maybe need it this game, but we may need it in the future. And next up, we will have a second and goal from the five yard line. And you're going to see another throw to Marquise Lee. Now, this one wasn't a bad throw by Blorals. It wasn't a bad, uh, you know, attempt by Marquise Lee. It was just a great job by uh, their rookie cornerback, Marlon Humphrey, um, Alabama. You're going to see Blake puts it in this spot that really only Marquise Lee will, you know, the perfect spot for him to get it. I mean, he goes up, elevates, and goes up and gets it. But um, not only does Marlon Humphrey get his hands on a ball, but he's also able to push him out of bounds. So um, even if he did catch it, it would have uh, been rolled incomplete so um, you know he's able to not even get a foot down but it was just a good play by the cornerback it was a good throw by Blake to not put it in a spot where the cornerback would be able to intercept it but um, you know just trying to make a play happen uh, you know in one-on-one -on -one coverage and next up is a third and goal from the five yard line once again but this play was probably was extremely impressive just because of the way Blake Bortles used his eyes to um, you know, this was a touchdown pass to Alan Hearns over here, but uh, just watch how Blake Bortles, he's going to play off of this linebacker. Um, what he's going to try to do is he's originally looking at Keelan Cole. His eyes are over there. His shoulders are kind of turned over there. You're going to see he does a little bit of a hitch to try to, and then from there, this linebacker is going to come down and then basically lead that. And then you're going to see Alan Hearns is already making his move over here. So uh, Alan Hearns does that and Blake Bortles immediately puts his foot in the dirt. Quick release. Very, very quick release and gets it to him. I mean, you remember last year, uh, you know, Blake Bortles' ball is always coming like way down here. But his mechanics have definitely tightened up. Um, you know, we'll hope to say he can keep that tight uh, throughout the season. But um, just a, it was a rocket too. Uh, Alan Hearns and uh, just what a play this was just to really use your eyes and use you know the pump fake to draw uh, this linebacker in you know we're gonna see it from the back view this time uh, you're gonna see you know you can see him like pump a little bit more again you're gonna see his jersey is also in parallel and then just fires a missile so just good good play by Blake Portals you know usually you're used to seeing him like lock down a receiver but um, this is definitely encouraging just being able to see him um, you know, uses uses head and eyes to, uh, you know, fake out a linebacker and draw him in a different direction. And last and certainly not least is a, another touchdown pass to Mercedes Lewis, who had three touchdown catches on the day. Now you're going to see this. They throw it to a spot that he wouldn't usually throw to a guy like, uh, you know, Mar Marquise Lee or uh, say like Keelan Cole or something like that. He puts it in a spot where. A, only a physical receiver would be able to get this. I mean, look at the way he basically manhandles Tony Jefferson, swims over him, and catches this ball. Uh, you know, he makes literally makes Tony Jefferson look silly on this play. But um, you're also going to see Blake Bortles throw to a spot. Now, Blake Bortles said this training camp he probably threw like double to triple the amount that he's threw in previous training camps, and this is why repetition doesn't make perfect, but it makes for uh, you know a better just a lot better results but you're going to see he just throws to a spot you know what I mean he throws to a spot he doesn't really see what kind of moves Mercedes leaves he's going to throw to a spot where uh you know practice you know just practice led this play to make it work you know what I mean like just the way Mercedes Lewis is able to basically you know do a pass rusher move and like 
swim around this dude and catch that ball. You know, great, great play. Great game by our Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, you know, what a game to watch. Hopefully we get more like this in the future. But um, that's, that's, that's this week's film review. Let me know what you guys think, and go Jaguars.